Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. I had a request to do a short video for the ASVAB military placement exam in mathematics, math knowledge about function notation. Everything we do is on the Cartesian coordinate plane is x and y. y is your dependent variable, it depends on x. If you want to do dollars of sales over time, sales, your units would be dollars, depends on time. And then hopefully if it's a good business, you know, you start out with no sales at time zero and it starts to increase at a linear path. Over five years, you have that many sales. If it's a straight function like that, it's a linear function. If you're talking about y depending on x, it is common to replace y with f of x to say that it is a function. So f of x and y are interchangeable when you start talking about dependent, independent variables, and they follow the, the definition of what a function is. So f of x is saying that it does follow the definition of a function. It is going to have a dependent variable depending on an independent variable. Okay, so here's a function right here. I have checked it to make sure it is a function y is equal to 3x plus 1. That's a linear function. If I have a problem like f of 2, that's saying in my f of x function, take the independent variable 2 and plug it in for x. So 3 times x, well x is now 2, plus 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So f of 2 is equal to 7. I could even make it something a lot more complex, like it is actually not dependent on a number like 2, it is dependent on another function. A composite function is what we're going to create. So if I say f of x is equal to g of x, so g of x is replacing my independent variable x, it is now saying take your g of x function, whatever that is, take that function and plug it, that in for x now. So f of g of x is 3 times my independent variable x. Well, my independent variable x is now this function, x squared plus 1. So I replace this independent variable x with my new function, x squared, right there. And that's as simplified as you could get. If, on the other hand, it said something different, so f of g of x is that, and now it's saying find f of g of 2, it is saying create the composite function f of g of x, then after you've done that, take that 2 and plug it in there. So now I have 3, 2 gets plugged in here, 2 squared plus 1, order of operations is exponents first, then multiplication, then addition. So 2 squared 4, 4 times 3, 12, 12 plus 1, 13. Another thing you might see instead is g of 3. Let's say that first. g of 3, which function do I go in? I go into g of x. g of x is x squared. Take 3, plug it in there. 3 squared is equal to 9. So g of 3 is equal to 9. Let's find g of f of 2. So I'm going to find g of f of 2. I'm going to take now my f of x function and plug it in here. But I could actually take that 2 and do this first, or I could do it afterwards. So I'm going to take that 2, plug it into f of x, 2 goes in there. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7, right? f of 2 is equal to 7. So I'm going to replace this with a 7. 7 now goes into this x squared, and I get 7 squared, or 49. As long as you go a little slow and break it down into pieces, it's not too bad. So that's kind of the key ideas in function notation.